Hi, I'm Ray Duke, presenter and bride-to-be, and I'm working with Brideas as they follow me through all of my wedding planning. I'll be sharing everything from hen to bridesmaids to guest lists, but today I'm going to be sharing my wedding dress story with you. So I'm here at Angelica Bridal in North London. Pinterest was a massive help for me. I looked up loads of different bridal Pinterest boards and started getting ideas of what I like. And I suppose like every girl out there, you have had an idea in your head of what you want your wedding dress to look like and what you want to look like on your wedding day since you were probably about three. I tried a few different wedding dress shops and I had some complete disasters. Sometimes you walk in and you just see this mass of meringue and fluffy poofness and it really is just so off-putting. I tried a few of those on and you just look terrible. When I walked into Angelica, I just saw such beautiful dresses and just the way they fell to the floor just made me think, oh, I think this could be the shop. I didn't stick with the style that I originally had in my head. I thought that I wanted perhaps long lace sleeves and when I tried it on, I just felt it was really aging and it looked a bit too sort of grown up. Your wedding dress is almost the perfect dress that you would wear normally. It has those same features. So if you're somebody that likes something to come in at the waist and then just fall down, that's probably what your wedding dress is going to be like. Whereas if you like a really slinky look usually, then again your wedding dress is probably going to be a bit like that. Don't reinvent yourself for your wedding day. You need to stick with what you know suits you and what you know you're going to feel comfortable with. I'm here at the Business Design Centre where Angelica Bridal have their tailor for hopefully my last ever dress fitting. So I haven't seen it in a couple of weeks and I'm really hoping it fits. This is so exciting. I, this is my dress and this is now the final fitting so it absolutely fits me like a glove everywhere. It's tricky with a wedding dress because it has to span a formal ceremony, drinks outside somewhere, sitting down for dinner, speeches, cutting the cake and looking great in those photos, and then ultimately get to a big night out and still, you know, you can have a great time in it and feel great in it. So that is a lot to ask of one dress. But I think this dress will be able to do all those things. It gives me something for that formality um, of the day, but I can really easily imagine dancing in it. And I really love the fact that you don't see any shininess on this dress. So the under layer here is, that's that sort of satin. But then I really like those floaty layers that just go on top. I think it looks quite ethereal looking. So that really drew me towards it. And the way it just falls naturally. There are some cups that are gonna be sewed into the dress which is great, particularly because it has got quite a low back there. You don't want to have to worry about your bra. And I loved these. I've always known I wanted buttons like that. My mum had them like that on her wedding dress. So that was something I was always looking for. It's really surreal actually seeing it because you've obviously tried it on in the shop and then you've had all the fittings. And now what I see in the mirror is how I'm gonna look on my wedding day. So. Oh, it's a really weird like range of emotions that I'm feeling, but I love it. I absolutely love it. It's very beautiful and yeah, I'm really happy with it. Thank you for following me on my wedding dress journey. Um, next time I'm going to be talking about bridesmaids and what to expect from them. So please do join me then. And until then, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. I'd love to hear from you, hear any comments or see any pictures and know that there are other brides out there going through this same process.